the time of Ceausescu, only folk music was allowed to be sung. Music, in my opinion, is everything. My purpose is to sing for the people. Music is a cantic of the universe that we can only express. I got a secret interview with one of the nuns. There is not a single thing that you cannot turn from good to bad. There are more than 40,000 different original cultures in the world today. Music, tradition, art, the way of perceiving life. I travel around the world to explore and portray the music and art tradition of the indigenous cultures and subcultures. Most of the indigenous cultures in the world today faces a hard time in the clash with modern society. Perhaps we can get closer to our understanding of the purpose of music and art, and maybe even life itself. Can we learn something from these ancient traditions? Can we use that knowledge in our modern lifestyle? Romania is a place I've wanted to go for a long time, especially the mysterious Transylvania that I've heard so many stories about. Romania is a very multicultural place with a vibrant music scene and art culture that I was looking so much forward to experience at first hand. Before going to Romania, I had some very promising meetings arranged through a remote friend from Bucharest. But to my disappointment, just one day before I left Denmark, all their arrangements were cancelled. On top of that, I had caught a bad cold a few days before that had ripped me off most of my voice. Two hours delayed now, so we're gonna arrive early in the morning instead of middle of the night. But as a good friend once told me, when project starts with a struggle, the end result will often be a greater victory. There's a reason for everything, and we'll find out what it is. I had rented a car in the airport in Bucharest, and together with my daughter Selma, we drove out into the vast country with only intuition as our main navigation system and only five days to spend. The first two days we drove into the beautiful landscapes with mountains, rivers and lakes, but without finding what we were looking for in order to meet artists. After a seven hour long drive the third day, we arrived to the city Scipio and parked the car and wandered into the center and trying to look for opportunities. Before we eventually sat down at a table outside the restaurant, we had walked past many places, feeling it was not the right one. But this last one just felt different. That is when I met Florence and later also Emmerich. My name is Florin Tomic and I'm a folk performer in Romania since 1981. We go to a party and everyone turns to see I was grown by my grandparents. Since I was born, I grew with them. So in that case, I must develop myself. In Romania was a movement named Cenaclu uh, Flacara. In that movement was that kind of, of music that I perform now, folk music. In the time of Ceausescu, only folk music was allowed to be sung. So we go to the stadium and there come 30,000 people to, to hear that. Sound. And for me, I said, that's what I want to do. Romanian traditional music is rooted in the folk music, which has been passed down from generation to generation for centuries. The earliest known recordings of Romanian traditional music dates back to the 19th century, but it is likely that the music itself is much older. 
you will find many different genres in Romanian traditional music, each one with its own unique sound. Some are performed solo like the slow melancholic genre Doina and others are always performed in groups, often with instruments like accordion, flute and violin. In my opinion, music has many purposes. First, it's to change the spirit of the people. If you are sad and you hear a song that you love it, you would change your spirit at that moment. If you are happy, a song could make you more happy. Music, in my opinion, is everything. My purpose is to sing for the people. When I sing, I'm not just singing. All the time I try to, to understand, even if it's not my lyrics, it's other lyrics, I try to understand first what that lyrics want to transmit to the people. And after that I try to dress my music for be exactly in the heart of the people. Emmerich Imra, born in 1965, is a distinguished figure in Romanian folk music. My name is Emmerich Imre. I live in Cluj-Napoca, the capital of Transylvania. Muzica este un cântec al universului pe care nu îl pot opri știința. His unwavering dedication to preserving Romania's folk heritage has earned him a widespread acclaim, solidifying his status as a luminary in the music industry. My father uh, a avut o voce colosală și a gândit și la chitară și pe urmă eu am făcut școala de muzică, am făcut vioară, după aceea am întrerupt vioara și am învățat singur chitară. Nu pentru că tata n-a a, a cântat doar pentru el. Nu a făcut o carieră din muzică. Dar un mare compozitor clujan de muzică clasică i-a propus bunicului meu să lase pe tata să facă muzică canto, pentru că spunea el, omenirea n-a mai întâlnit așa voce de la Caruso în coace. Emmerich's album from 2012, Tasio, was nominated as the Best Folk Album by Radio Romania, and he was awarded Best Folk Singer of the Year. La noi, și peste tot, atâta timp cât uh, un tânăr, muzica genul acesta, muzica folk, cântată live, atâta timp cât încă roboții nu o să înlocuiască artiștii, atunci și muzica asta va merge mai departe. Pentru că e o legătură clară care vine dintr-un anumit ADN. Majoritatea instrumentelor, mai ales cele făcute din lemn, vin din memoria materiei și mai ales că sunt făcute de mâna omului. Au amprenta meseriașului. Revin la instrumentele din lemn. Lemnul vine din viață și atunci, sigur, au, au un spirit. It was also evident that people that evening knew most of his songs and gladly joined in on the choruses. After the great meeting in Sibiu, 
We went to search for a famous ceramic artist that we were told lived in the city of Hurezo. We drove there and spoke to a person taking care of her gallery. He informed us that she suffered very much from schizophrenia and was not able to talk with anyone but a few close friends. So instead we went to check out a nearby monastery and it was here that I got a secret interview with one of the nuns living there. She told us the bishop had issued a decree that no one but himself and a few selected spokesmen were allowed to give interviews or statements to anyone outside the church. The decree was imposed because of an incident three years before, where a person inside had revealed something to the press that was not to be revealed. So the voice you hear is scrambled to keep her anonymous. And the sister turned out to be a very wise woman, especially in the matters of the heart and mind. I'm more than aware that music and spirituality are like brother and sister, because even in our orthodox religion we have our hymns and our songs, and it is a way of the spirit to praise God, and through music it can express both your belief, your adoration, and your feelings just as well. It is a way of art and a way of expression. You can do evil things with everything. There is not a single thing that you cannot turn from good to the bad. That depends on everyone's choice. And everyone's capability to understand his meaning on this earth and what's his path. You want to do the right thing or turn the other page? It's like in everything. Not only music, you can make that side of art and then in everything, in literature. That was a voice that I couldn't silence anymore. It was inside me for a very long time, but to be honest, I pursued first my first dream to be a lawyer. And I wanted a career and I wanted the normal things in life that everyone does and silence the little voice inside that tells you it's not your right path. This is not the right one for you, but no, the ego was overcoming. <laughs> to make the long story short, when the heart overcomes the mind, this is what you decide. Everyone has to listen to his heart deep down inside and to be honest with himself. When a, pe when a person is honest with himself and knows this is my good side, this is my bad side, because we have, all have up and downs, and what do I uh, chase in life? What do I pursue in life? And what do I expect from life to give back? If God gave us the greatest gift, that was the free choice. If you love someone, you cannot be to impose your own will with that one if you truly love him. Then you let him to be free. Free to love you, free to hate you, free to choose his path. And that I believe it was the greatest form of our Lord to show his love through us and to us, to give us the free will to love him, to love ourselves, to love our egos, to hate each other, our free will. Everything happens for a reason, but sometimes we are too blind to see the reason. Sometimes it's not in our interest to see the reason in an instant, and take some time to understand it. But everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for everything. It's hard for each and every one to follow his path, but I believe and I hope that everyone should be true to himself, and find his own path. The, the monastery is, isn't the only path for a man's redemption. Everyone has his own path to follow. And um, I believe that if you're true to yourself and you are conscious and aware of why do you still breathe on this earth, try to do some good for another, for yourself, and then when you do for another, you do it for yourself.
Unfortunately, the time has come for us to say goodbye to this beautiful country. Although it's been a very short visit, I feel we both have learned a lot from our road trip. It has for sure left me with a lot of interesting imprints and things to reflect upon. There are without doubt so much more culture to dive into in this vast and diverse country, and I hope I get the chance to go back and experience more of what Romania has to offer. It's been a really interesting trip to Romania. I have the deck here, and I'm going to shuffle it. Does music have a purpose? If so, what is the purpose of music? Maybe you can help me answer that. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you once again, and remember, all unique things are built from passion and dreams. She's wondering what clothes to wear. She'll put on her makeup and brushes her long blonde hair. And then she asks me.